In 1991, the Foundation's original mobile eye clinic came to Bali from Perth by Hercules, courtesy of the Australian Air Force. 20 years on, the new generation mobile eye clinics return to the skies, this time to reach people in need in more remote locations with the help of the Indonesian Air Force. In a mass eye screening, our teams can check visual acuity of around 1,500 people. Issuing free glasses and identifying hundreds of people blind with cataract. The cataract blind are operated on the same day in the mobile eye clinic. Ya, sudah bersih. Terima kasih dah. Ya. Oke, rasanya patut di dalam. There's a vicious cycle between poverty and blindness and 90% of people in developing countries are unable to work and need two people to care for them. The result of this is three people who are not productive and this amounts to a staggering $168 billion in lost income in the world in one year. The blindness rate in Indonesia is one of the highest in the world, with three and a half million people cataract blind, a curable condition with a 20-minute operation. With your support over the years, the Foundation has returned sight to 31,000 blind people. And this means that those people are back in full production. We now have an opportunity to even move further to the eastern islands just above the northwest of Australia. And there, more than 15 million people are living in poverty. In a developing country, what hope does a child born blind with cataracts have? Our foundation has operated on over 300 cataract blind children, restoring their sight and giving them the opportunity of a normal life.
Ayu is 20 years old. She lost one of her eyes five years ago through a severe infection and is now looking for a job so she can help support her family. But it's not easy. It's hard to find a job, so she's still dependent on her family. Help is on the way through the Foundation's Prosthetic Eye Program. Wayan makes each eye to match colour and size for each individual person, patiently moulding, painting and grinding the eyes until they are perfect. All of the Foundation's services, without exception, are provided free of charge. All the patients are poor. This is unusual. Most aid programs aim for some payment from patients for sustainability. But how do you expect people in these situations to pay for a cataract operation or a cleft operation? Do they have to go without food for a few months? Technology transfer is the key to the Foundation's success in its medical program. Volunteer Australian specialists come to Bali to train local medical personnel.